in the first week of our course, we, we read and considered a number of cultural factors that shape student ministry, and you guys commented on a number of those in your in your post this week regarding the role of parents, the, the impact of technology, so on and so forth. Culture is an ever-changing reality, and as a result, student ministry is an ever-changing reality. What makes this um, quite complex and uh, really a difficult, difficult work, uh, particularly in the U.S., is uh, the nature of delayed or prolonged adolescence. Whereas you see in the scriptures, uh, far more often, uh, a natural transition from childhood to adulthood with really very little gap in between that puberty and adolescence uh, into adulthood. Whereas in, in common culture, particularly in our day, there has developed an an increasingly lengthy period of time between when a child hits puberty or adolescence, say at 12 or 13, until that child is considered an, an adult, somewhere perhaps even 22, 23, and with now um, people beginning work, living home later, uh, particularly young men, you see this even stretching in their late 20s or early 30s before they are taking on the responsibilities of adulthood, which has created this kind of intervening period of, of youth, which uh, you know, the, the, the term, or at least the, the ministry setting, is not, uh, is not one that we're going to see in the scriptures. Now, we're going to see the Lord mention youths primarily as those with energy or passion, uh, the prophet saying, even youths will grow tired and weary, but that, that's not specifically speaking to student ministry per se. So the challenge is our culture has created a 10-year, 12-year, 15-year gap between childhood and between uh, adulthood. And in that gap, there are so many layers of complexity. I mean, consider all that's happening in those years. Not only is the individual's physical body changing, you've got a host of other developmental processes that are happening emotionally, sexually, physically, all of those things are taking place. But you've also got this period where the, the child is moving into adulthood, but yet not given those full responsibilities and confronting a wide array of decisions that quite frankly will shape the rest of their lives. So it's in this period where in the scriptures we would see the, the young man or woman giving, given a host of responsibility. So they've got a lot of burden, and as a result of a lot of burden, they're having to make a lot of decisions, navigate life uh, in, in this new world. But now, often, children, youth in that period, are freed from burden. Many of them not working, many of them not in relationships, a lot of idle time, a lot of access to technology. And in that burdenless state, they're making these life-shaping decisions, which you and I you know, all know. You hear statements like, idle hands are the devil's workshop. Well, the same is true in the decision-making process. If we're idle or free of massive weight and responsibility of adulthood, but yet making adult decisions, this is breeding ground for all sorts of foolishness and complexity and rebellion from the Lord that, quite frankly, will have implications for shaping uh, this young man or woman's life into adulthood. So it's created a, a category for us that uh, in some ways is outside the scope of the scriptures in terms of uh, this teen or tweener stage where we, we're not really sure um, what to do with it. Um, unfortunately, we, we can't eradicate culture. It just is. And culture is broken and flawed as a result of the fall. So, you know, while we would love to say, let's take out the aspects of culture that are unhealthy, we can't really do that. So that, that doesn't work. We, we can't, now we can push against it and we can say, and we need to give uh, younger students responsibilities of adulthood, or 
we need to encourage this or this aspect of life or decision making and all that's true. But the reality is the cultural norm, the pattern of this world uh, is to create this, this gap, this 10 year period that we've got to figure out how to address. And so that's the, the work, the challenge, the complexity of student ministries, the work you're called to address. And it's the work that I think is uh, particularly challenging uh, in light of our American cultural dynamics.